Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever may be your time all over the world, you are welcome to grade four Bible reading week number seven. All right. So this is going to be week number seven, and we get a chance to read through a chapter of the Bible together. We are going to be reading Mark chapter four from verse one to verse 20. And then right afterwards, we are going to try to answer a few questions so that we can retain the content a little bit better. All right, so I invite you right now to read together with us. Get your copy of the Bible. Turn to Mark chapter 4 and let us read from verse 1 to verse 20 together. Mark chapter 4 And again, he began to teach by the sea. And a great multitude was gathered to him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea and the whole multitude was on the land facing the sea. Then he taught them many things by parables, and said to them in his teaching, Listen! Behold, a sower went out to sow and it happened, as he sowed, that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground, where it did not have much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up it was scorched, and because it had no root it withered away. And some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. But other seed fell on good ground and yielded a crop that sprang up, increased and produced, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. But when he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parable. And he said to them, To you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to those who are outside, all things come in parables, so that, seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest they should turn, and their sins be forgiven them. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word, and these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. These likewise are the ones sown on stony ground who, when they hear the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and they have no root in themselves, and so endure only for a time. Afterward, when tribulation or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they stumble. Now these are the ones sown among thorns, they are the ones who hear the word, and the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the desires for other things entering in choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. But these are the ones sown on good ground, those who hear the word, accept it, and bear fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. All right, so thank you for reading with us. Hopefully you've read a little bit with us. We are going to right now try to answer a few questions. But firstly, let's try to understand what we've read by sectionalizing the passage of Scripture into topical categories. Okay, so what I mean by that is you are going to see that there is a topic talked about from which was predominant from verses 1 to verse 9. 
there was another topic which was predominant from verses 10 to 12 there was another one which was predominant from verses 13 to verse 20. all right so from verse 1 to verse 9 jesus spoke about the parable of the sower he noted that the sower went and he scattered seed on four different kinds of soils he talked about the different kinds of soils all right so soil number one is going to be like the path like soil where the birds came and devoured that seed. Soil number two was called the, sto the stony soil, which was scorched by the heat of the sun. Soil number three was the thorny soil, and the thorn grew up and choked the seed. Then soil number four was the good soil, which produced a harvest of 30, 60, and 100 fold return for the seed of the Word of God. So that's section one of the reading. All right, so hopefully that's going to help you to retain that content like that. In section number two, the 12 disciples asked Jesus about the meaning of the parable. They wanted Jesus to go ahead and explain the parable to them, okay? So Jesus started to tell them that the parables are spoken to conceal the mystery of the kingdom to those who do not want to hear, okay? But for the people who want to hear, Jesus is going to go ahead and explain that parable. And that's from verse 13 to verse 20. So Jesus starts to tell them that the wayside soil represents those who hear the word, but they do not understand it. And then the devil is going to come and snatch away the word sown into their hearts. And we know based on the evidence of another scripture in Matthew chapter 13, that the reason they do not understand the word was because they didn't take time to receive it properly. Okay. Then soil number two was going to be, uh, is going to be the stony hearted people who are the kind of people who hear the word but became offended when persecution and trouble comes because of the word. All right, soil number three is going to be the thorny hearted people, and that represents those who hear the word but the cares of life, the sinfulness of riches, the desires for other things come in and choke the word, and then the word doesn't become fruitful because of that. Well, soil, uh, soil number four is going to be the good soil, and that represents those who hear the word, those who accept it. And are able to yield a harvest of a 30 and a 60 and a 100 fold return for the seed of the Word of God. So being able to break the Word of God down like that into different sections will help you to retain the content a little bit better. All right, so let's try to answer a few questions right now. So question number one, how many types of soils did Jesus mention in the parable of the sower? All right, so there are four soils talked about over there. There is the wayside the wayside soil or the path like soil there is the stony there is the thorny and there is the good soil all right so those are the major kinds of soils talked about in the parable of the sower all right why did jesus talk to the crowd in parables real easy because they did not want to obey god okay they weren't really interested in obeying God. All they wanted was just potentially miracles and f <laughs> fish and bread. But as far as uh, listening to God and doing what God wanted them to do, they're not really interested in that. So Jesus said, well, I'm not going to cast my precious pearls before you guys because you do not want to obey God. All right. Which soil will not yield a harvest during persecution? Well, we know that it's going to be the stony soil. Right, all the rocky soil. All right, what are the challenges of the thorny, thorny soil? Question number four. Well, uh, deceitfulness of riches, desires for other things. All right, and what the worries of life. Okay, so thorny soil over there desires for other things, deceitfulness of riches, uh, potentially which will be equivalent to worries of life, okay? Uh, those are the challenges over there. What are the challenges of the wayside? Now, the challenges of the wayside is over here, right here. They do not understand the word. Not understanding, understanding the word, and the devil <laughs> coming to steal the word as a result of that. All right. 
good. In addition to hearing the word, what else did the good soil do to produce a harvest? All right. So the good soil accepted the word, right? Can you see over there? Accepting the word. So it's important to hear, but it's also very important to accept it with an attitude of humility. All right. Great work. Did you get something from that? I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Till next time, bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you worry.